glory to god welcome to this new week what a blessing to be seeing the week of thanksgiving and what a blessing that during the week of thanksgiving 2018 the lord is asking us to do what show forth his praises hallelujah show forth his praises and remember we have been looking digging in into the scriptures and seeing for ourselves that the book of peter was written to christians kingdom people that were going through a challenging situations not one situations and the word of god came to them reminding them of their nature of their true personality of their character of what daddy made them out of we are at that time of the year where people celebrate his goodness people talk about what is done but i want you to understand something child of god when you do with understanding the results are always outstanding when you do from a place of knowledge it is always always different do you know Paul and Silas in jail were not they were not praising the Lord to come out? They were praising the Lord because that was their nature. That was what they would do. They were not praising with the mindset of oh when we praise it will be an earthquake. No. The Bible is clear. Our God inhabit the praises of his people. If there's one thing they could have been thinking is that we need to give daddy praise because even in this prison he's right here with us. One of the things I want us to remember is that Paul and Silas walk in the understanding of the kingdom. They walk in the understanding of the New Testament that the Father, Father God as we saw or as we have seen or if you were not when we did that study or we are see you can see it for yourself in the book of john chapter 4 john chapter 14 john 14 verse 10 he said uh, there jesus was speaking he said the father that dwells in me does the work why are we going um through all of this scripture at the beginning of a week i want you to start this week with the mindset of i am created for praise i am created to praise my father i am a habitat of praise my father habits my praise my father dwells in my praise and i was created to praise him and the amazing thing even with this understanding is that you will begin to make praise your life lifestyle regardless of where you are regardless of what you're going through regardless of what everyone else is saying and thinking paul and silas came to the understanding and the realization that praise is a weapon praise is that weapon that will always bring the result the bible didn't tell us what they were saying but you and i can imagine that they were saying something that made father god to be like no 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 i can't stay here anymore for an earthquake of that magnitude to have happened means they were saying some things can you imagine yourself like daniel in the lion's den but you're still lifting up your hands and like we saw during our, our fasting this uh, beginning of the month we saw that the lifting up of our hands is what like the evening sacrifice and i explained to us that that lifting up of your hand is praise unto the lord it's worship it's total surrender it said lord no matter what else i'm going through you are the final authority now, I don't want you to get all of this and forget what we're talking about. What we're emphasizing on this morning is that you, because you were made in the image of daddy, daddy inhabit the praises of his people. Praise is daddy's habitat. I want you to remember that praise is also your habitat. Praise is where you need to dwell in. We have come up with that word in this family and we say joyville joyville is that place where you have decided or we have decided to dwell 
We have decided to make our habitat in praise. Now, when you do that, there is nothing else that can hold you down. There is nothing that can limit you because in that habitat of praise at joy view, only one thing is possible. You will show his praise. But when you begin to do it from the understanding that I am a habitat of praise and then you choose to show forth his praise, that's it. Every miracle, every testimony will be released to you cheaply. Hallelujah. Like Paul and Silas, it was given to them on the platter of praise. But that praise was not because they wanted to come out of the jail. Praise was because they already understood the principle that praise is their habitat. Make praise your habitat and show forth that is praises. Amen and amen.